since I unlocked uh, a new character that I'm kind of intrigued about, like this. We're going to do a bit more Vampire Survivors. He's going to be slow, isn't he? What's the move speed? Wait. Not as, as slow as I would think. It's actually okay. Okay, so this dude's area damage. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, I mean, if we're doing area damage, this is the way to go. I guess the only thing is, this dude is big. Oh yeah, area damage. Definitely want minecart for this. Hey, Sandy. I'm surprised it's still up. Oh, wow, okay, no. They kind of shrink and grow? Okay, so it's not just the weapon that's doing that, it's straight up the whole character. Which, interesting. Alright, I have a way I'm gonna play this then. thing change hmm okay I'll look it up Do you know what let me try it Oh wow, they're gigantic. Okay, this, no, this is no joke. This is pretty good. Is probably a good one to get. What's this thing called? I'm gonna find out if it evolves.
Ah, cool, this isn't the evolution shot here. I don't know if this covers everything. Now it looks like there's some missing here, hang on. Okay, it looks like it doesn't evolve. At least not that I can see. Okay. So I'm free to grab more or less what I want. I want the crown to get more experience. Getting this help out with projectiles. There's the crown. Okay, now just movement speed. Speed is hurting.
Uh, ugh, all right. It's not giving me movement speed. Shit. Uh, banish the pentagram. Good, good, good. Uh, go, Bryce off. I mean, okay, I don't have the movement speed that I wanted, but it's still going okay. Like, I'm not stressed out. Hopefully these explosions will carry now. Socks. Just need one more holy water. Okay, there it is. Got it. Go. Let's 
still no sign of move speed. There it is. Ah, got it. Okay, uh... Banish whip. Hey, look, it's a big one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess there's no point in grabbing this just yet. Okay, let's see if it evolves. I think I got it. Alright, cool. That area of effect is crazy. That's what I wanted for seasons. All right, there we go. Just something that has giant AOE. Do you know what the funny thing about this game is? It doesn't have vampires at all. <laughs> it doesn't feature them in the slightest. Man, there's no vampires in this game. AOE here. This 
another chest outside, apparently. I'll worry about that later. That's such false advertising. I mean, I guess there's a gist of it. I don't know why they called it this. Maybe because the characters seem like Castlevania, and Castlevania's about vampires. I don't know. I'll go get the Cursed Sword, I guess, and then I'll come back for the Duplicator. At this point, this is more about just kicking back for me. Oh no, this is insane already. Look, it's gonna be difficult for me to run through this. Take the risk. How do I get to the other one? There's a duplicator in here, but I need to get to it. I'd imagine just follow this pathway. Yeah, okay, there it is. dangerous cave. So many explosions.
Fireworks everywhere. Oh, there's so many chests I left behind. Yeah, it's fine. Wow, that was quick. That, like, took no time whatsoever. Okay. Jeez. What the hell are you even looking at? You never heard of this game come over me? Do I understand the screen? Yes. It's a game of survival. You start with nothing. You kill stuff, you collect orbs, you level up, and you get a choice of like three to four items you can pick from to make a build. It's surprisingly addictive. You'll see next run. And the whole aim is just to survive the half hour. And it just becomes so chaotic on screen, as you can see. And you know, items combine with one another, but you can only have six weapons and six passives that you can pick from. And then the stage might have, like, uh, an extra bonus item you can pick up if you know where they are. So you have to design a build that way. Ugh, it's getting a little crowded. I just want the silver ring. You open stream on Switch has a limit bit right and had to come on mobile to see what was going on. Okay, well it's not always like this. This is just you're catching the tail end of it when my character's powerful and we're going to survive to the half hour mark. But it doesn't start that way. And most certainly when you first start playing the game, like it's not it's not like this at all. Like you're struggling quite a bit. I would also point out that if you, if this does pique your interest, you can get it for free on mobile. It's very cheap on Steam though, it's like five bucks or something. But I've gotten a lot out of this one. I like playing this because I can play it with one hand, so if I want to like have a snack or a beverage, I can. Because everything automatically fires, all you have to do is just move, so things fire at a certain interval and you can get things to like reduce that interval all right i'll probably just hang up here for the last seven minutes i don't have any incentive really to get the other stuff i mean i guess health regen would be useful just in case things get really bad
I mean, the easiest thing is you just watch the middle of the screen. That's what you love about Dota Unbold, you get time to eat. Yeah. This is in, this is in the same vein as, like, you can move and then eat with your other hand. And in some cases, like, you can get builds where you just stand still. And you can stand still for a while, so... But, I mean, yeah, this game is just known for... Just how simple it is, but addictive, and... Just how insane it gets at around the 25 minute mark. Like, yeah, it's a bit right killer, but... I recorded it at a high quality, so it's easier to watch later. Just admittedly, with this character, I have picked items that explode quite a bit. Oh damn, I'm like level 133. YouTube kills a bit, right? Really? When you upload it, huh? Can't say I've ever had any problems with it. Let's see how quickly I can kill this dragon boss. dying. Dead. <laughs> Alright, I got four minutes left. for the heart, why not? Get some health regen. Probably just chill in here now. I don't think I've ever gotten this high level. At least this quickly. You bought a 2DS and got some childhood games on the way. Oh, which games? I got a, uh... An analog pocket and have been picking up Game Boy games and stuff. A Link Between World and Phantom Hourglass. Oh, those are great games. I'm gonna be playing New Leaf uh, once I'm done with Stardew, so I'll be using the DS quite a bit. Plus, you know, I went to the effort of getting a capture card put into it. I should probably use it. If 
You want spirit tracks, but it's expensive? Really? I've never understood that. Why certain games become more expensive than others. Oh boy. Yeah, it's starting to get to that point where the English version is the Japanese version is cheap still. I don't know, like, these eBay resellers, they kind of ruin things a bit, because a lot of them, they just buy those games in bulk, and then they kind of set the price. I think plenty of English copies were produced. I think the issue is, like, no one's selling them, or, like, just these resellers are buying them. That's, e that's all eBay has become at this point, is just people doing Korea eBay sales. And just kind of marking up the price and stuff based on what they think it costs. Phantom Hourglass was hated a lot in the US. No kidding. I mean, I still got like a library of DS games behind me. Like, the remake of Metroid 2 is apparently. It's not the most expensive, but it's pricey for what it is, and I was. I'm like, what? That? <laughs> Why? Just, just, I think now's the time to kind of pick up stuff, because just wait what happens when the eShop shuts down in March, like, those prices are going to go up, because then the only way to get those games will be through physical resales. At least, you know, 3DS titles. It's going to be a little annoying. You bought a link between Worlds for 20 on the eShop, yeah, good. I mean, have a long, hard think about the games that you would want and get them before in the next 60 days, pretty much. I, I can't remember what date in March, but it. I imagine there's only like about 60 days before it shuts down. Seven seconds remain until victory. Oh, jeez. My health is going down. I'm guessing there are just a lot of enemies directly on top of me. Yeah, there I go. But it's okay. I survived. 30 minutes is considered a victory. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna open the door because it's a little warm in here. I don't want to turn on the air conditioning though. Okay. Wonder if you'll still be able to update physical games after. I'm not sure about that. Um, that's why I, I made sure that I put in um, New Leaf at the very least. But I might have to go like through my 3DS library and just put every single game into the into the TS. And just make sure it's updated. Um, I'll make a habit of doing that. Um, it's not the end of the world if it's not. Okay. Who haven't we won with yet? I haven't... Oh, no, I have won with you. I've won with you. So, the only characters I have remaining is X-Dash and Red Death. Ugh. I oh, know, but this has high movement speed. And high health. Wait, what, what? I wonder why. Huh. I wonder why this is. Alright, let's just see. I'll do moon spell because that's the hardest stage. Now you get to see this before it gets out of hand. Go, okay, Laurel. No, you pick up orbs, you level up. 
And then you pick what weapons you want. I guess that's already evolved, which is interesting. Like, I wonder if I can double stack it. You know what? I'm gonna try. You know you can. So I can carry two of them eventually. That might be interesting. Heart. But yeah, I don't know, like... You compare it to... The PlayStation and the Microsoft stores. And just how long you can buy games for and how long those games are able to be played. It's just like... Nintendo's still horrible at maintaining digital purchases. defense on this character. I mean, move speed is nice. I'm just not sure these axes and scythes will be able to defend me. At least people are willing to illegally immortalize games online. Yeah. It's just kind of sad that it comes to that. And often, like, some of the way fans decide to immortalize games are just way better than what the company ever did for it. Like, you look at the, uh... Like high-resolution version of GameCube games, for example, or, like, um, Nintendo 64 games being presented in widescreen, and... I mean, the most recent one, there was that dude that remade Zelda 2 and just, like, fixed everything and added a bunch of stuff to make it play like a more modern Zelda game. Like... Yeah. I'm just glad that I have certain games, you know, and I kept them. Like, getting stuff like the Metroid Prime Trilogy, for example, there's no way to play that right now. The only way you can play it is if you have the physical copy of the disc that came with all three, or the GameCube games and the Wii game. I thankfully have that, that one that came with all three. But, uh, yeah, that, that one is, uh pretty expensive to acquire.
Is it expensive? I mean, semi-expensive. It's not as expensive as, like, say, Thousand Year Door. Like, that is, like, a couple hundred dollars for that game. At least in Australian currency. I don't know what it's like in USD. But when you consider, you know, the price of games, it's pretty expensive. Certain Pokemon games are, like, multiple hundreds of dollars now, which is, like, ridiculous. Well, okay, it's not that they're worth that much, it's that that's what these resellers are making them out to be worth that much. It's like, they're only really worth what people are willing to pay. You just threw out a Prime Trilogy tin, really? Damn. Should probably check the price of that stuff before you throw anything out. Because the Wii is entering that uh, spot now where it's like considered retro. The tin was pretty banged up. Still, I mean, you might be able to get something for it. You'd be surprised. I mean, my copy of, uh, the Prime Trilogy is in pretty good condition. Figured it was worth it because the game was almost unplayable. Ah. Yeah, I don't- I mean, I don't know. I mean, sometimes people just buy boxes so then they can reuse the boxes for, like, games that they've purchased that didn't come with the box, so there's always a use for it. Thankfully, I like Game Boy games because they're just so plentiful, they haven't really gone the way of being super expensive, with the ex exception of a few. But in general, most of them, they're, they're affordable. You know, there's this little handheld that I got, it's... It makes playing them again just so much fun. The game itself worked, but the controls are awful. Try playing the game and last in an hour before you gave up. Oh. Yeah, but that's subjective. <laughs> At the end of the day, like, someone's gonna find interest in that. I mean, that's just the thing where it's like, you know, motion controls. They were overdone in that era. But I mean, I played Warrior Land, Shake It. And I love that game, but admittedly, its biggest flaw is, like, the control scheme. There's just too much, uh, shake mechanics in it. Like, there's so many things where it's just like, alright, come on, you could have just made this normal platforming, or just, like, a button press. But you had to go into, like, the gimmick of the Wii. But I still enjoy the game. Still have a lot of nostalgia for it. Did I play, play the trilogy on the Wii? I played three, but then I never went back and played the original two. Would you believe it? But I do have the trilogy. Um, we're gonna go cooldown reduction. I mean, it's a first person shooter, so that's the thing, like either way, it's gonna be tricky. Like on the one hand, motion control is great for shooting, but terrible for other stuff. But on the other hand, like controller is 
just as clunky, if not more so. Um, let me think about this. I might do this, actually. Go twin guns. I'll combine my whips and combine the guns. I haven't done this build in a while. Why not? I will get around to it. I think one thing that I'm going to do with the YouTube streams is just make that where I do retro games. I kind of set the tone with uh, doing Zelda, that remake, over there, so I think that's where I'm going to probably do stuff like that. It's not giving me a chest, which is kind of annoying. You only played the first one, grew up playing Call of Duty on the Wii. I reckon kids but couldn't get Prime down. Um, I mean, Prime 3 was, I remember at times, like, very tricky. I haven't played it since it came out, so, like, my memories of it are a bit foggy. But I do remember there were certain fights that were uh, pretty tricky. And sometimes getting lost in exploration. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're already ready to go to the next tier whip again. I just need to take out a big enemy. But yeah, there's a few Wii games I want to replay, like, uh... Paper Mario. Okay, here we go. Yes! This whip is cool. Okay, uh... Keep going with cooldown reduction. We're doing thousand year door playthrough now, I've got five hours in and deleted to save. Oh no. I haven't played Thousand Year Old though. Um and it's one of those games that I think the next time I get money from Twitch I'll probably just get it because that's what I, I use the money from Twitch for is just to like do more stuff for the stream and it's one of those games that I mean I, I've been waiting for Nintendo to add GameCube games to the Switch online service and they're not, they're not going to they're just they're straight I'm not going to so it's just one of these things that they're basically treating it like Disney did with a vault. You know, keeping movies unreleased for a long amount of time so then when they finally do make them available again, they sell them. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to the orb. That probably won't happen. No, not anymore. I mean... I can't imagine the Switch is going to be around without a successor for m more than two years. Like, I would be shocked if they don't announce the Switch's successor this year. It's not going to release this year, but I think we'll know about it this year. Like, in the second half. kind of wild to think. Like, I don't think that console's been out for that long, but it has been. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. We got the twin guns now. It's interesting that it's not evolving my other axe. Maybe you can't have two of the same item. Anyway. That's fine. Like, I don't mind them. They're still doing something. It's not like it's useless. No, in regards to the comment above that comment. What? Ow. Oh. Well. Wait, I can't grab this yet. I need one more passive. What's that last passive gonna be? Probably crown. Always a good one to get. At least this character is not a joke character. If you watch a toad get eaten, you keep waiting for the toad to show up and be okay, but he just dies. <laughs> Paper Mario games are kind of dark. Like, the ones I've played, there's always something that's just like, oh wow, this is in a Mario game. Like, I think about the Origami King, for example, like... You get that bomb that you become friends with, and then he just, you know, blows himself up as a sacrifice. And it's, it's just kind of out of nowhere. And then there's the, the story of, like, uh, the one on Wii. Where it's, like, just a tragic story about a couple that can't be together. Just bought that game oh well too late. <laughs> I won't say anything else on it, but in my defense, that game's been out for like three years, if not more. I won't say anything else on it, but Paper Mario games are generally darker in tone compared to like any other entry of Mario game. Excuse me. Late to the party. Yeah, I mean, the game is alright. I think my biggest problem with it was just the combat system. I did enjoy everything else about it. It's like what you would expect of a Paper Mario game. It's just... The combat is going to be one of these things that either clicks for you or it's just going to be something that you're not going to enjoy. But the story and the comedy does does carry it. It's interesting, it doesn't upgrade the other axe. Anyway. Not ever encounter needs to be a turn-based sequence, that's your gripe with Thousand Year Door. You might have the same gripe with Origami King. It's... Like it's... It's different, it's just, I guess it's whether or not the combat grabs you. If you find it engaging, then you're going to enjoy it, because there is variety to it, but like... There were times where I just, I just found it tedious. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna go out for the other items now. Allows you to choose any unlocked base weapon. What? Candy blocks and plus survivors. What the heck? Okay. Obtaining the candy box opens a list of base weapons still available that can be picked. Right. So I got to choose my final weapon. Um, which might be a good thing. I guess if I can do this. Yeah, see, there we go. Alright, that's nice. That's actually really useful, because... When you're trying to design a build and it doesn't give, give you the item you want, good. Alright, we got that now. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? You are already lurking, hey. I wish I had, like, a, a party whistle to blow. Already lurking raid, yes. I guess that only leaves the character that I was struggling with after this. <laughs> Thank you for gifting that sub to Iona. Is it Twitch yet? Wait. Where is... I think I've taken a wrong turn here. This doesn't lead to the ring. No, it doesn't. I'm sad because uh, Pizza Tower comes out tomorrow, but it, it comes out tomorrow at like 4 a.m. my time. I was kind of hoping that I could stream it today, but it's not going to be a thing. So I'll have to do it tomorrow. I am looking forward to playing that game because I've been wanting like something like Warrior Land for a long time. <laughs> What's that? People people abusing the streamer putting a command that launches a sound effect? What get out of here? second now. Yeah, I will endeavor to get a copy of Thousand Year Door at some point. Don't know when, but it's gonna happen. I think it's the... Aside from the DS games, it's the one that I haven't played. 
Oh, and I haven't played the uh, Mario RPG, Evo. But that's because that game never officially came out here on the Super Nintendo, like... I think the first time it was made available was on, uh... The Wii eShop. So like getting an original copy of that would just be expensive on multiple fronts. The writing is great for Thousand Year Door. I've heard, I've heard it's like considered the peak of the series. Wait a minute, I could just cut across here? Oh my god. I did not know I could do this. Well, that simplifies things quite a bit. Okay, except this is a little scary. I need to get in and out. I mean, if you're into Paper Mario, like, one title that I did enjoy that I played... ...during that... that period where it was a pandemic. I don't know what year, because it all blends in, but, like... Bug Fables was good. I did enjoy that one. And there's some other game coming out soon that's, like, got a... ...Paper Mario vibe to it. And it looks pretty good. I thought I could cheat. Oh no, I got it. You have 80 games you need to play? Yeah. <laughs> I have a literal box of games that I have to get through. I don't think I'll get through them. You suck at having hobbies, I mean... Is there such a thing truly? I don't know. I mean, for me, this is my hobby. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a lot of games to play. It just means you like games in general. I'd prefer that to, like... And this is not like firing a shot, but more just... I know people that play the same game over and over and over again for years on end, and I don't know how they do it. Whereas and I like to experience different things. Seeing different art styles and, you know... Different storytelling. But yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit coming out this year, like... Let's see. Tomorrow I have Pizza Tower, then this year we have Zelda, the new Zelda coming out. At some point, Silk Song is going to come out this year. Because that always said as the X Xbox thing was like any game they showed was going to be playable by June. Um, I mean, I'm not 100% sold on like Starfield, but like it could be something there. Prime 4 is just nowhere to be found. I'm not convinced that we're going to see that before, like, a successor to the Switch. But you know Nintendo is going to announce something this year that I'll want to get. There is a Kirby game remake coming out. Pretty minor, but I'll probably get it. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something.
There's a few games that I want to check out this year. Just right now, like a lot of them escape me. Like there's one that kind of looks like Chrono Trigger and it was made by the same people that made The Messenger and the original composer for the music of Chrono Trigger is involved in the project. So, I mean, that's on the radar for me. Diablo 4 comes out this year, which we'll see. This is one of these things where I'll see what it's like in its first week of release. I'm a Diablo fan. I play that game a lot, so... Um, the Yakuza series has, like, uh, another game coming out shortly that's set in, uh, ancient Japan, but, like, the same level of insanity as usual. I mean, who knows, maybe they might do more with Elden Ring, they have been hinting at it, but we'll see what that means. There's going to be a lot. I mean, honestly, I think we'll see the new Pikmin before we see Metroid Prime 4. Which, that's another series I want to start checking out. Because I've heard good things about it. There's just too much to do. Let me fight this thing here because then it lets me get the cape. Okay, there we go. How are we looking? Three more levels of the ring. If you're photosensitive, I would recommend averting your eyes. Just because this, this item... yeah. <laughs> just, just a little bit. I mean, I, I doubt I'm gonna lose at this point. Oh crap, I walked into a chest. It's okay, as long as I leave that other one on the ground. Four more. I'll be able to get it.
But yeah, I don't know. It makes me wonder, like, what Nintendo's gonna do this year, because Zelda's obviously the big thing, and the only other thing that really is kicking about that has a realistic release window is Pikmin. At least that I know off the top of my head. Um, is that ready? It's ready. Okay, where's the chest? Okay, we're done. Now I am indestructible. Keep running around in circles. <laughs> All right, less than a minute to go. I'm just watching the health bar at this point. That is my frame of reference. Like, I can't see my character. It is, it is draining my health. <laughs> but I'm life leeching, so it should be okay. Fire. Okay, there we go. We're done. I don't know what death is. Where is death? There is death. Right here. Take on the Grim Reaper themselves. Suppose I could always run and try and get a high score. There is an achievement for surviving 40 minutes. Oh wow, that, no, that thing just got eaten. Okay, never mind. I am too strong. No, I'm gonna die. Ah. No, leave me alone. <laughs> okay. It's a win. I unlocked a ninja turtle. What? A defeat 6,000 Kappa. Gets more projectiles every 20 levels. Oh, it's a projectile based enemy. Um, that's cool. Yeah, okay, let's try it. But see if it's projectile based, I already know what I'm gonna do. Minecarts. What, what, what is this? It's... Is this turtle taking a crap? Like it's just dropping bubbles everywhere. Uh. Yeah, let's do the whip again. That worked pretty well. Just gonna grab my key items. Oh, you know what? The bubbles evolve. What did they evolve into? Hold on.
Spellbinder. Okay, cool. We're going to get Spellbinder for the Bible, so I made a good choice. So I have a couple of free slots. Um, go to that. I'm not sure what to think about this bubble attack. The landmines, I guess. I mean, an early duplicate is usually good, but I think for now. Just when I thought I had every character unlocked, it still throws more at me. No, these bubbles seem very underwhelming. Just going with what I think I should go. Now it's just book, I think, is the only other one I need. Or time, I should say. Spellbinder, that's the one. Alright, so that's the upgrade path for the bubble as well. to get the other whip. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't let me do it. I can plan this all I want, but I'm at the mercy of what the game is giving me. I'll get my first projectile upgrade on the next level as well, so... Okay. That should be plus one to projectiles, I think. Wait, oh no, there is. Yeah, cool. I was gonna say...
Mm, the next 20 seconds are going to be interesting. Oh no, I don't want any of this. Uh, banish. I doubt I'm going to use that. Okay, here we go. True sign of whether or not I'm struggling. <laughs> it's like, how easy are these enemies? I would say I'm struggling a little bit if this is the case. I don't want to be banishing so much here. Okay, that's all we want. I want to see what this bubble upgrade is. Sketchy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the bubble's not defending me well, so I'm just going for minecart. Let the minecart be the carry, and then I can look into the other stuff.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this bubble attack. <laughs> it just seems very underwhelming in terms of protecting your character. Chicken! Thank you. Ah, oh, wasn't the chest. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> the passives. I can't believe the second whip hasn't presented itself as an option yet. Oh boy. Spellbind is max rank now. So if this thing is going to evolve, it better do it on the next chest. Oh no, the other whip was there. Crap. Oh well. I think at this point I need to get something upgraded, so I'm aiming for that. You. Yes! Alright, there we go. That's a huge thing to happen. Uh, Bible. Laurel. that I had to do that. Okay, I mean, it's something. At least I can life leech now. Heading towards the orb and ring. Just because we get one of these. Uh, 
this is not going well. This guy has to die. Okay, what is this? Projectiles can hit the same target more than once. I was already underwhelmed by this. Wait, it said projectiles, not... Maybe it means everything. And not just the one thing. I guess let's see. This might be legit. Okay, I'm getting Laurel now. To defend. Good. Ugh. I have no idea. <laughs> The character looks the same as the enemies. Good. Okay, there we go. There's the other whip. Still got so much levels to go. It's not killing stuff quick enough. I might just have to grab it and go. Oh, cool. We got this now. fight out here with all the turtles.
And it's making me level up the other one. Alright, just grab it. I guess that worked for the better. Bigger pickup radius. Okay, nice. Great. Oh, there we go. I suppose it's not all doom and gloom. Like, they do seem to be doing damage. It's just things are breaking through. Should have gotten one more projectile as well. Just waiting for that upgrade. Two more. One more. I was gonna say, if it didn't give it then, that's cool. I got another chest. Okay, grabbing this. This should be better now. I mean, you would hope.
Okay, this is, yeah, this is getting sketchy. This may have been a mistake. Hang on. I'm gonna hang on this bridge for a while. <laughs> too much stuff in there. I want to get in there, but the problem is that there's just too much stuff. Like, you just get overloaded instantly. I have an idea of what I want, but, like, it requires me being able to get in there. all I wanted out of this. Okay. Out, 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 out. Go, go, go. I don't need to be here anymore. give me the item that I'm looking for. Alright, let's get this for now. Probably not going to get to finish this build. <laughs> oh! Scratch that. Okay. Um, where is it? That. 
because this gets to evolve with the duplicator and it gives a big AoE and it's projectile based. So it's like the best thing I can get right now. Yeah, there we go. Now we're okay. That's all I was waiting on. Two more levels. Okay. There we go. That's probably as far as this gold's gonna go. There we go. But now I they shouldn't be able to touch me. It's just like this massive crunch with all the duplicator stuff. I should be untouchable. Heading to the left pace, but I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with it, really. Barely see anything. <laughs> I've got basically a minute to do whatever I need to do. I think if, if I didn't get this last item, I feel like I would having be having a much harder time to survive right now. I got 10 seconds, I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything with it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, okay, that's fine. It's still a success. Quit. Alright. That was fun. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break for like two minutes. I'm just gonna refill my bottle of water. And I wanna finish uh, in unpackaging. So, I'll do that in a couple of minutes. But if you were here for Vampire Survivors, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. YouTube, thanks for watching as well. Alright. If you're watching the VOD later. <laughs>